And today I'm going to detail how the proteolytic earthworm enzyme lumbrokinase sharply reduces the damage from diabetic nephropathy when used regularly. And before I take you through how lumbrokinase defends against the development of diabetic nephropathy, it's important that you understand exactly what diabetic nephropathy is and how it functions. So let's get into that. Diabetic nephropathy is kidney disease and it's unfortunately a common occurrence in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Diabetic nephropathy is distinguished by damage to the blood vessel clusters, called nephrons, that filter waste from the blood. Each kidney has millions of these tiny filters, and over time, sustained exposure to hyperglycemia, or high blood sugar, can damage blood vessels in the kidneys and these tiny nephron filters so they don't work nearly as well. High blood sugar and the oxidation that accompanies it disrupts the normal maintenance of DNA, and this then leads to persistent injury, accelerated aging, tissue inflammation, and fibrosis, which is the formation and progression of tissue scarring. And this accelerated scarring then leads to glycation and excessive accumulation of extracellular matrix proteins like type 4 collagen, laminin, and fibronectin, which all increase inflammation and weaken blood vessel integrity. The body produces a large family of zinc-activated proteolytic enzymes called matrix metalloproteinases, or MMPs, that can degrade almost all denatured collagens and other extracellular matrix components. High blood sugar sharply reduces the enzymatic activity of the MMPs, particularly the anti-inflammatory MMP2 and MMP9, and being zinc-activated, this hyperglycemia-driven Reduction in MMP activity, as a side note, is definitely one reason why sugar cravings and excessive sugar consumption in response to these cravings are both well-known signs of an ongoing zinc deficiency. Matrix metalloproteinases modulate inflammation by regulating the bioavailability and activity of cytokines, chemokines, and growth factors, while also maintaining the integrity of physical tissue barriers. Lumbrokinase is the name for a group of proteolytic or protein digesting enzymes originally found in the earthworm. And the name lumbrokinase actually derives from the Latin name for earthworm, which is lumbricus. Lumbrokinase, like its silkworm relative serapeptase, is an extremely versatile proteolytic enzyme that, when used regularly, can combat inflammation, oxidative stress, a microbial infection, the proliferation of cancer cells, and, of most interest for diabetic nephropathy, fibrosis. Lumbrokinase dissolves the tangled fibrin proteins that comprise blood clots, primarily by converting the plasma protein plasminogen into its active proteolytic form plasmin. So in this way, taking lumbrokinase regularly exponentially enhances the fibrinolytic activity of plasmin. For someone with diabetic nephropathy, regularly taking lumbrokinase can help to reduce the urinary excretion of protein, known as albumin, that is often a common factor of this condition, and overall a classic sign of kidney damage. Lumbrokinase also significantly decreases the hyperglycemia-driven expression of the inflammatory type 4 collagen, while actually reversing the steep diabetic reduction of the critical matrix metalloproteinase activity. And this is particularly important because MMP2 and MMP9 are both anti-inflammatory and the specific metabolic enzymes directly responsible for breaking down both type 4 collagen and the equally inflammatory cytokine interleukin-1-beta. Like all enzymes, lumbrokinase is not measured in milligrams, but rather units of potency. And for lumbrokinase, those units are known simply as lumbrokinase units. So if you have a lumbrokinase product that only lists milligrams, then you know right away it's measured incorrectly. Remember to take your lumbrokinase on an empty stomach. So that would be ideally two hours after a meal or one hour before. And while systemic enzyme therapy might not be the first thing you think of for combating the effects of diabetes, I hope this shows you just how helpful lumbrokinase can be. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.